Okay, everybody, we're uh, joined by Lydia Coe. Um, Bethan, I think you've got some questions. Do you want to go ahead? Yes. Hello, Lydia. Hi, Beth. <laughs> I wanted to start by just, it seemed like you really turned things around in the middle of the round. What what did you find, especially off the tee on 11? You know, it seems like that really kicked you into gear. Um, You know, I had, I don't, I might have hit like one fairway up until that point, if that. I might not have hit a single fairway. Yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> uh, I was, um, Number one, I think I was making a lot of good saves and I knew that I was putting well and I putted well yesterday that if I was out of position, um, if I put it somewhat decent within 20 feet, I felt like I had a good chance of holding it. And at the same time, like my misses were solid. I think for me, it's um, it becomes a lot tougher when I'm missing it left or right when the contact is is not good but I was hitting it solid and I think that's why even though I wasn't hitting fairways it it kind of it did I didn't lose confidence from that and I was just still just trying to make a good swing and just hit a good shot and obviously 11 turned out um, as good as it possibly could and after that I just kind of got into a good rhythm of things and um yeah, I just had pretty much gave myself only like a couple opportunities up until nine. And then, you know, when you start putting yourself in, in better positions, um, it makes it a lot easier. And uh, I went in a decent amount of bunkers today. So I'm hoping to not do, not get Derek to do as much work having to rake, rake so many. I wanted to ask you about the bunker shot off your knees. That was quite impressive. Um, <laughs> When, when did you first learn how to do that? My goodness. Today. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had today, obviously I had to hit off my knees uh, on number nine. And then on 14, I had where half of my leg was up the wall and the other half was inside it. I actually had multiple times today where I was like, man, I could do with being left-handed for a few of these shots. Um, but, you know, the... the the sand is pretty fluffy, so I think the ball kind of settles down after like hits a bank or it kind of rolls in. So it's not easy, but I for both of those times I said, okay, um, don't make a fool of yourself and like keep <laughs> like all your core exercises are right for this moment. So keep that core tight, keep those legs tight, um, and just hit it and don't fall face. Don't, at least don't face plant. That was my <laughs> big goal. Yeah. Well, it was very impressive. Um, and, and so when you're, when you're off, off the tee, did you make any adjustments with ball position or anything? I'm just wondering what your caddy's looking at for you. Maybe. Um, he normally just checks my ball position because it has a tendency to creep forward, but it was literally the same. I honestly thought about the same swing process on all of them. And I think, I think for me, I have a tendency if I don't hit it well is to I'll tinker, tinker on the golf course, but I hit the ball really well last last few weeks and um like even my misses i think because i my contact was good i just i wasn't getting too frustrated about it and i just thought of my keys and then just kind of put a swing on it and um for me i think if i hit a committed um shot i think that's all i can do and if the ball goes left or right i can't do much about it so yeah just i didn't really think about something new um that made it turn around. Okay, and then just my last question, you've had some fantastic final rounds this year. Um, just how do you feel about your position and, and what's possible over the weekend? Um, obviously it's great that you know, I'm around to play for the weekend. I think there was a point today, I was like, man, um, I always, I've been trying to think these last few weeks, you know, what's meant to be is gonna be, but at the same time, I was like, man, what's meant, if, what, if what's meant to be is for me to miss a cut, that's, that'd be disappointing because this is probably one of the most excited I've been um, to come to the Women's Open um, just because I know what an amazing track this is. So yeah, um, you know, I don't think you can take yourself out of it, especially around the golf course like this. I think if you feel confident with the putter and you're hitting it some pretty solid, I think you've got a good chance. And you know, Minji showed um, that you could be quite a few shots back and then um, be able to be the one lifting the trophy at the end of Sunday. So there's still so much golf. Um, there's still half 
the field's still out there you know playing so you just can't count yourself out but I'm just gonna stay to my same strategies and uh be in a few less bunkers or none would be <laughs> fantastic um and uh and just see but yeah it's it's been fun um and I've I've been playing really solid these last couple of events so hopefully be able to finish uh the weekend strong here in Carnoustie. Thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. Yeah. We miss seeing you. <laughs> okay, thanks.